Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, many pastors in this country are practicing totally different from what they preach to their congregants. So that is hypocrisy. And uh, Nanga was wondering, why would a pastor have more than 10 bodyguards guarding her? When she's just a pastor. Remember, the same pastor would get to the pulpit and tell you that God is going to provide security for you. <laughs> that you have no need to worry. But then when they get out, more than 10 men acting as their bodyguard. They live big. They show off. Same Ganga is wondering, why would someone just preach in the village there you know, in English and with all that accent, when he can just relay the message in the local dialect language. I think sometimes because we don't embrace our own culture, we don't embrace our language, something that many people outside there would want to guard their own language and the culture. The person Nganga was addressing here was none other than Pastor Lucy Natasha. Hata niliona mugine hapa. Analido na vijana kumi. Hapa Nairobi vijana kumi. Kwane hui mugu hanaga as, as, askari sake. Watu kumi. Ha, wee mama hata wewe kuna wasimu yako hiyo. Eh? Watu kumi. Utaona mubiri anaogea. Nani muranga kwetu. Oh the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, Bow the Lord. Hata mkarimanya na zido kutafisi. Nani muranga. Na ni muranga Na hakuna mtu mgini huku wate asiki kikuyu Now, in that context You look at what pastors preach And what they do It is opposite Now, with that one Try to compare the situation that Bishop Margaret Wanjiru Is in as of now As far as demolition Of her church is concerned what she preached in the church and what exactly she can do on ground. At one point she was talking about promotion and the prayer for promotion. That some prayers when you pray is a warfare prayer. Therefore you should prepare for the war. So it's not for the weak heart. It needs people who are courageous and ready to face the challenge. For that reason she was clear. That kama we ni mutu wa roondogo, sujui vita kidogo hivi, you know, umeanza kulia. Then that prayer is not for you. You should prepare for the war, have courage and fight. So, in that contest, the church is being demolished. What exactly came out, out of Margaret Wanjiru? Was she ready to face the war? Or it was just a small war and she was already crying. <laughs> you look at that, then you can conclude that most of these pastors, they don't do exactly what they preach. They completely do the opposite. In the mighty name of Jesus, lift up your hands and tell the Lord, introduce me to my next level. Come on. introduce. Uh, first of all, put your hands down before you pray that prayer. That prayer is to get you out of your comfort zone. And that prayer might mean warfare. Na kama wewe unaogopa vita, kavita kadogo ushaanza kulia. Kavita kadogo unasikia ni kama unakufa. Kavita kadogo kichwa inauma mpaka sasa unasikia high blood pressure imeanza. Wewe wacha na mambo ya kusema unataka promotion. A few moments later. Wametunyang'anya vitu zetu, wamechukua simu, wametupiga. Me I have to go to hospital. Sasa hii nimekunywa pain killers ndio nifike hapa. So I go have to rush to hospital kujaribu kuona vile nitatibiwa miguu na mikono hey guys i have to go to i have to go to to hospital now we are continuing this panel discussion but just a quick request for those who are watching and you have not yet subscribed please Consider subscribing. 
to our channel spread by Samasa. Thank you so much. And again to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. So you look at this entire situation, you ask yourself, one, if Margaret Wanjiro preached on the pulpit that, you know, prayers means you get out of your comfort zone. For her, if it was God getting her out of her comfort zone, comfort zone, then what was her reaction? And where is she as of now? She's in hospital. She was crying. She was making noise. She was not able to face the war. So if you look at such kind of a pastor, would you still believe in her preachings? Because for the preaching you have to believe. And the pastor should be seen as if he is following what he is preaching to the congregants. When you talk about faith, you should lead in that faith so that you plant that seed of trust and faith in the congregants. But when you cannot face off the, this kind of war that you termed as Vita Kidog, then that has, tells you that the congregants are going to learn that even for you, you are not able to face the war. So with this kind of move, it becomes hard for the congregants to trust you or believe in your preachings. This message is for Margaret Wanjiru and her congregants and even Christians at large. Look at Lucy Natasha, a woman of God. Yes, he's a preacher, a good orator. But above all, when you preach about what God can do for the people, mtu akikuja anasema ya kwamba nimepoteza mali yangu and have all this problem you tell them that God is going to protect you. Which protection do you want this believer to trust in what you are saying when even you for yourself you have huge number of bodyguards surrounding you? That tells you there is something they have to fear about. And what is this fear? If you are preaching the true gospel of God and you are not robbing the congregants through the word of God, you have nothing to fear. You don't need this number of bodyguards. You don't need anyone to protect you. Let congregants know that the most high God is your protector. And therefore, they should trust the same person to provide protection for them. But as long as you are doing all this, you are telling them that you have to have a way of your security. This behavior will be encouraged among some preachers of whom, if you check careful, you will find that they have a way in which they use the scripture upside down to rob the congregants. Wengi wao wako na njia fulani ya kuibia washirika. Wakitumia tu Biblia. <laughs> and because you have robbed, because you have it through false way, in the name of the Holy Bible, so you look for protection, and therefore this is what will in, will will inculcate this will inculcate this behavior among some preachers in this country. Simamba ya uh, security yetu tunachia mungu. You look at someone, he has an, you see a kind of, you know, escort they have. Magari, mnolongo wa magari hivi. You would think it's the president passing. Or the king for that matter. But just a mere preacher, preaching the gospel of heaven, whereby God need to provide everything, whereby you have to show humility. Lead by showing humility. So, what is humility in Pastor Lucy Natasha? You only see a show of. Where is humbleness in the woman of God? Nothing. No humble. Instead, we see 
huge cash. We see security well organized. The kind of protocol. Ata hii protocol kumfikia ni shida. So when will you even talk to her? Look at the protocol that Jesus had. See in a he would eagerly approach Jesus. That's how many people would get out and speak to Jesus. They would easily, you know, get the attention of the Messiah in the name of Jesus. Lakini kupata attention ya Lucy Natasha. We are being told now these preachers, Nasio Epe Kyaki, there are many. We are just using as an example because Pastor Nanga talked about her. Hata hui nganga pia hako na protocol zaki. You find that reaching out to such kind of a pastor with this kind of protocol, it is very hard. So even you cannot speak to them easily. You have to book appointment and this appointment comes with money. So you have to book appointment. When you wake pesa zako pale, you book appointment, uandikiwa na makarani wake, ndio upate nafasi ya kumuona. So you see, they have put layer of security so that for you to approach them your money is going to speak for you ndio ngana anaongelea hiyo mambo pastor tu na security kubwa <laughs> mwingine kule mlanga pia lugha wanatumia kwa kuhubiri so you come to discover that most of these pastors do not believe in what they preach to you do not practice what they tell you when they are on the altar they do complete opposite Lucy Natasha, Margaret Wanjiru, today she's in hospital, crying phone, complaining, but she told us that we should face the small wars and deal with those war. But not cry when we, have, we are in small troubles. So for him, she cannot manage a situation in the trouble she is as of now. With all this, these pastors, wenge wao, huwa tunakuwa na shauku kubwa, na maubiri yao na yale mambo ambao wanafanya i don't know your views but let us submit in the comment section to continue with this discussion thank you so much and see you in our next video